After countless hours, I have built one of the largest 1 to 400 scale model airports on the planet, and it is Denver International Airport. Here we go. We'll be starting off the airport update at Concourse A at Denver International Airport. Concourse A houses 51 gates, both domestic and international, and houses Frontier, Delta, United, JetBlue, and all other international airlines. Starting off at Concourse A, we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A320neo loading on passengers and pushing back for the flight out to Las Vegas. Moving on to the next aircraft, we have this Allegiant Airbus A319. This aircraft just pulled into gate A50 from Asheville. Moving on from that, we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A320neo and the Champ the Bronco livery. This aircraft will be heading out to Phoenix, Arizona today. Moving on to the airline that charges $100 for a carry-on bag. I am the one, the way your son don't need them. Anyways, here we have a Frontier A320neo. This aircraft will be departing for the flight out to Dallas-Fort Worth. The next aircraft we have is this Frontier Airbus A321 in the Steve the Eagle livery. Loading on the baggage and will be heading for the flight down to Tampa. And God help anybody that wants to sit on a Frontier airline seat all the way to Florida. Continuing on with America's favorite low-cost airline, we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A320neo. This aircraft is in the Colorado the Big Hornet Sheep livery and it just arrived in from Sacramento. Moving on to more Frontier aircrafts, we have the Frontier Airbus A320. This aircraft is in the Griswold the Bear livery and it just arrived in from Fort Myers. Moving on to some Delta aircrafts, we have this Delta Embraer E170. This aircraft is loading on the passengers and will be heading out to Salt Lake City, Utah. Just pulling into the gate, we have this Delta Airlines 737-900ER just arriving in from Atlanta, Georgia today. I have been receiving quite a bit of questions regarding where I get my aircraft models from. I get them from the Midwest Model Store, as you can see here. They have a huge variety of aircrafts to choose from and they have good prices and ship out fast. When you're ordering your models, if you use code MILEHIGHAVIATION at checkout, I will give you a shout out in the next video and it'll be 10% off your order. And thank you to everybody already using that code. And moving on to the other side of the terminal, we now have United Airlines at Concourse A because the 100 gates they already had wasn't enough. This United 737 MAX 9 will be pushing back for the flight out to San Diego. And moving on to some wide bodies, we have this United 787-9 Dreamliner, currently loading on a cargo and getting ready to push back for the flight out to Tokyo. Finally, United has resumed the Denver to Tokyo flight. Following that, we have this beautiful Iceland Air 757-200 in the Hecla Aurora livery. This aircraft will be pushing back and heading out to Keflavik in Iceland. I recently did a new and improved video on my new Keflavik airport and you should totally check it out with the card above. Moving along from that, we have this Air France 787-9 Dreamliner. This beautiful aircraft is pushing back and will be heading out to Paris Charles de Gaulle. Just peeking past the terminal, we have this JetBlue Airlines Airbus A220-300. This aircraft is currently loading on passengers and getting catered for the flight out to New York LaGuardia. And moving on to this absolute beauty, we have this Edelweiss Airbus A330-300. This aircraft will be pushing back and is getting heavily serviced for the flight out to Zurich. Moving on to this beautiful Lufthansa Airbus A340-300. This aircraft is loading on the passengers and baggage for the returning flight out to Munich. 
and just pulling into the gate we have this cayman airways 737 max 8 as i mentioned it just pulled into the gate and arrived in from grand cayman Moving on, we have this Delta Airlines Airbus A321 Neo just sitting at the gate as it just arrived in from Boston. And finally, at the concourse, we have this Delta Airlines A220-100. This aircraft is pushing back for the flight out to Salt Lake City. And moving over to the construction zone, we have the new terminal or the terminal being built this is going to be the new ground gates for frontier airlines i'll put up some pictures now for you to see what it'll look like in real life but i'm super excited for this to be completed just taxiing between concourse a and b we have this beautiful alaska 737 800 the salmon 30 salmon livery this aircraft will be heading out to seattle and further taxing along, we have this United 737-800 new livery. This aircraft is heading out to Tulsa, Oklahoma. And moving on from that, we have a Trump 757 aircraft. I doubt Trump would ever come to Denver, Colorado, but we're going to pretend he did in this airport update, and he'll be heading out to his home airport of West Palm Beach International Airport. And moving on to the B concourse at Denver International Airport, we have this beautiful terminal here. Currently housing 81 gates at the real life airport and stretches over a mile and a half long. And it's currently housing only United Airlines aircrafts. So let's dive into it. We'll be beginning at the regional section of the terminal, which is on the far right side and houses 17 gates in total. Starting us off at the Concourse B section, we have this United Express E-145 aircraft just arriving in from Little Rock. And following that, we have a beautiful United Express CRJ-200, said no one ever. And this aircraft will be pushing back and heading out to Moab, Utah. Flipping over to the other side, we have this SkyWest CRJ-700 operating under United Airlines, getting ready to push back for the flight out to Aspen, Colorado. Next up, we have another United Express CRJ-700. This aircraft is in the new livery and will be pushing back for the flight out to Bentonville, Arkansas. And moving on from that, we have a United Express CRJ-200. This aircraft is in the old livery and is getting ready to push back for the flight out to Grand Junction. And to everyone's surprise, we have yet again another United Express CRJ-200. This aircraft will be heading out to Casper, Wyoming. And for the viewer's sake, I actually did not put all my CRJ-200s in, otherwise there would have been a lot. And moving on to more regionals, we have this Republic Airways Embraer E-170, currently operating under United Airlines, and it just pulled into the gate from Salt Lake City. And moving on from that, we have the United Express CRJ-700, getting ready to push back for the flight out to Billings, Montana. And moving on from that, we have the United Express Embraer E-170, currently loading on the passengers and getting ready to push back for the flight out to Fargo. And for real, actually pushing back, no invisible pushback carts, we have this United Express E-175 pushing back for the flight out to Edmonton, Canada. And who would have guessed another United Embraer E-175? This aircraft just arrived in from Knoxville and will be heading back out there. And looking absolutely beautiful, we have another United Express Embraer E-175 arriving in from Huntsville, Alabama. A little bit of a bigger equipment size, we have the United 757-200 in the Her Are Here livery, specifically the California one. This aircraft will be pushing back and is loading on the baggage for the flight out to Kona, Hawaii. And moving on from that, we have the United Together United Airlines 737 MAX 8. It just pulled into the gate from San Diego, which is a flight I was on less than a week ago. And finally for this side, we have the United 757-200 in the new livery. Currently loading on the cleaning crew and then later the passengers for the midnight flight out to Boston. Flipping over to the other side, we have this United Express E-175 pushing back out of the gate for the flight out to Fresno, California. Moving on from that, we have the United 737 MAX 8 in the new livery with the engine pointed upwards like a rocket. 
Thank you, Gemini Jets, and this aircraft will be departing for the flight out to San Francisco. Following that, we have this United Airlines 757-300, the flying pencil, pushing back and loading on the cargo. It'll be heading out to Chicago ORD. And moving on from that, we have a United Airlines 777-300ER, currently loading on passengers and baggage for the flight out to Maui. And flipping over to the other side, we have a United Airlines 777-200. This aircraft just pulled into the gate, arriving in from Honolulu. Moving on from that, we have this United Airlines Airbus A320 in the old livery, getting ready to push back for the flight out to Kansas City. And finally on this side, we have the United Airlines Airbus A319, the flying cigar livery. This aircraft is getting ready to push back out of the gate and will be heading over to Dallas-Fort Worth. And moving on to the other side, we have the United Airlines Airbus A320 in the Stars and Bars livery. This aircraft is getting ready to push back out of the gate for the flight down to Phoenix, Arizona. And just arrived into the gate here, we have this United Airlines 737-800 in the old livery. This aircraft just pulled into the gate, arriving in from Washington IAD. Neighboring that previous 737-800, we have another 737-800. This aircraft is in the new livery and is currently loading on passengers and getting catered. And will be departing shortly for the flight out to Vancouver. And moving on from that, we have United 737-700 in the old livery. This aircraft just arrived into the gate from a flight in from Las Vegas. Just pulling off the runway here and taxiing back to the gate, we have the Southwest Airlines 737 MAX 8 in the old Canyon Blue livery. This aircraft just arrived in from Boise, Idaho. Just arriving in here, we have this Air Canada A220-300 arriving in from Montreal and heading down to the gate. Third in line for departure, we have this United Airlines 737-900ER in the new livery. This aircraft will be departing for the flight out to Baltimore. And just holding short here, we have a Frontier Airlines Airbus A321. This aircraft is second in line for departure and will be heading out to Portland. And finally, just touching down, we have this British Airways Airbus A350-1000. The first time this aircraft has been in Denver, Colorado, and just touching down from London Heathrow. Just taxiing between Concourse C and B, we have this private Global 6000, I believe it is, and it just arrived in from Billing. Just taxiing here, we have this Southwest Airlines 737-800. This aircraft is taxiing at Mock Jesus, and it just arrived in from Sacramento. Moving on to Concourse C here, as you can see, this is currently housing all of Southwest Aircrafts and American Airlines with 61 gates in total at the Real Life Airport and 16 of them recently completed during the new expansion project. Starting off Concourse C, we have the Southwest Airlines 737-800 in the new Illinois 1 livery. This aircraft will be departing for the flight out to Oklahoma City. Just loading on passengers and baggage, we have the Spirit Airlines Airbus A321 getting ready to push back for the flight out to Lost Wages. I mean Las Vegas. Just pushing back out of the gate, we have this Southwest Airlines 737 Max 8. This is in the retro gold livery. This aircraft is pushing back for the flight out to Seattle. And following that, we have another special livery. This is the Southwest Airlines 737-800 in the Freedom 1 livery. This aircraft will be departing for the flight out to Baltimore. Going back to a more common livery, we have a Southwest Airlines 737-800 in the Heart livery. This aircraft just arrived in from Bozeman, Montana. And moving on to the other side of the terminal, we have this American Airlines Airbus A321 in the Medal of Honor livery. This aircraft is getting ready to push back for the flight out to Dallas, Fort Worth. Following that, we have this American Airlines 737 MAX 8 loading on passengers and baggage. We'll be pushing back shortly and heading out to Miami. And following that, we have the American Airbus A320. This aircraft just pulled into the gate, arriving in from Phoenix, Arizona. And moving on to this absolutely beautiful aircraft, we have this American 737-800 in the old chrome livery. This aircraft is pushing back for the flight out to Chicago ORD. 
And for my personal favorite aircraft in the update, we have this Southwest 737-700 in the Colorado One livery. This aircraft just arrived in from Las Vegas. And flipping over to the other side, we have the Southwest Airlines 737-700 in the Missouri One livery. This aircraft just pulled into the gate, arriving in from Salt Lake City, Utah. Ignoring that crack in the wall, that's probably going to disintegrate my entire house. We have this Southwest Airlines 737-700. This is in the heart livery, and it'll be pushing back for the flight out to San Antonio. Just arrived into the gate, we have the Southwest Airlines 737-700. This is the California One livery, and this aircraft just arrived in from Orlando. Flipping over to the other side here, we have the Southwest Airlines 737-700 loading on passengers and baggage, and it'll be heading down to Phoenix, Arizona. Just fueling up, we have the Southwest Airlines 737-800 in the heart livery. This aircraft just pulled into the gate, arriving in from Indianapolis. And moving on, we have the Southwest Airlines 737 MAX 8. This aircraft is currently loading on the passengers. It'll be departing for the flight out to Los Angeles. And finally, for Concourse C, we have the Southwest Airlines 737-700. This aircraft is getting ready to push back out of the gate for the flight out to Jacksonville. And that does conclude today's airport update of the massive Denver International Airport. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and leaving a like on the video. Thank you and have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.